In the next few videos, I'm going to show you how to find the intersection of two lines using a few different methods. In particular, we're going to use linear equations, the f-solve function, and the find function. First, I'll set up the two lines we're looking at and show you a new syntax for changing aesthetics when using the plot function. Also, I'll show you to how to find the intersection using the find function. Uh, so consider the two lines uh, 3x plus 2 and minus 2x plus 7, and we have those here. Um, in MATLAB, the way we'll write that is uh, we'll evaluate them from 0 to 2 in steps of 0.1. So our, our dx is going to be 0 0.1, and then x is going to go from 0 dx to 2. Um, our y1, our, they're the same ones as up here. They'll be uh, 3 dot times x plus 2 and y2 is going to be minus 2 dot times x plus 7. Um, and so the way we're going to use the new syntax for plotting, uh, first we'll, we'll just look at the lines. So uh, it, the way we do that is as p equals uh, plot x, y1, and then uh, you actually don't have to do this part, but I, I like to do it to see things better. Uh, so and then x, um, x, y2. Uh, and so let's bring that up. And here's what we get. Same lines as before. But um, next, let's, let's say we want to change the uh, line style of y1. Uh, the way we'll do that is um, what we would say p1, because it corresponds to this first row here. Uh, the line style, let's make it dotted. So that. Uh, and here you see we get uh, you know, a dashed line. Uh, and the reason that this came up on the screen is because I didn't include a uh, semicolon here. So if I run that again, it, we don't get anything. Uh, and then we can also, for example, change like the, the uh, line width of our second line. So let's do line width, width equals 2. Um, and so here you see it's, it's a lot easier to customize your graphs for specific lines. Um, and so, I mean, this, this is good if you really want to change up your, your, uh, your graph. So let's see if there are any intersections um, for, for these two lines. So we can use the any function, and that would be, so any y1 equal equal y2. Uh, and so the answer is true. There is a point at which the values are equal. Uh, and I should note that um, you know this is this doesn't always occur. And if you watched my other uh, finding intersection videos, you would you would know that. Uh, and if you want to see an example, you can go back and watch that. So um, let's let's find the exact point where that uh, the intersection occurs. So uh, we'll do that using the find function. So it puts out a sub subscript. We'll call that sub find y1 equal equal y2 gives us 11. Uh, and so let's extract that value from the vector x. Um, we can delete this, bring that up. Um, so we'll have x intersect equals x sub. And then uh, the intersection, the, the value of the function at that point will be um, y1 sub. It could also be uh, y2 sub, because they're supposed to be equal there. So um, then let's let's plot this again. So I'll just steal this from up here and uh, delete this. We don't want that. And um, now let's plot our intersection point. So uh, we'll have x intersect and uh, x intersect uh, point. And let's make it a, a black circle so it shows up. Um, and here we go. And so you can see that's where the intersection point occurs. And so one last thing, we'll just customize it a little bit more. Let's make the, uh, the marker size, uh, let's make it a little bit bigger. So marker size equals six. And also the, the line width of our intersection point. So line width equals 1.5. Uh, and so it just thickened this up a little bit. And um, yeah, I mean, that's basically it. That's how you can use the find function. And if you want to see another example, I have another video on that. So uh, you can go watch that. And 
Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Uh, thanks for watching.